What's up everyone? Welcome to Wingnuts RC. On today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new FMS model. So we're going to get this bad boy opened up here. And now this thing, at first, like, I wasn't too hyped about it because I saw some bad reviews. But I opened up one of them already. And this thing's sick. Like, it reminds me of the... Well, you're going to have to wait and see. The lemur. The FMS Lemur. Now this is one of the FCX 24s, but it's on an all new platform. Completely new design. Nice packaging, nice uh, manual, 30 pages of information in there. Check it out. Now, like I said, after watching some of the reviews, I didn't know what to expect, but this thing, you know, it, it did not disappoint. Um, you get your normal battery charger, uh, your wrench, some spacers for the springs. Um, looks like that's all the goodies in that one. Your little certif certificate card. Regular FMS radio, lots of programmability. Lots of tricks in this. I'm going to go through all these in a video because um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with this that I'm sure you guys don't know about. That's probably real confusing or frustrating for you. But there we have it. Man, look at that thing. So you might see over here. One of the reviews that I saw was that the tires didn't work the greatest. And I haven't ran this yet. But I went ahead and I ordered some uh, Proline Trenchers and I didn't realize how big these were. So I don't know. I think it looks cool like that. I'm going to lower the suspension a little bit. And you might notice I took the bumper off of this one. And uh, I think that makes it look way better. So, you know, I'd recommend that. And I also didn't notice how similar the original Wraith and the Lemur look. So that's super cool because I love these things. I have a couple of these and you know, I love them. So the fact that they look so similar is very cool. Now what we have here, it's a two speed transmission. It's your standard FCX 24, uh, FCX 18, you know, all those different ones are running the same transmission. So there's lots of parts for them. Um, same motor, great motor. You have your battery back here in the little uh, fuel cell, which is real cool. Um, portal axles and you know there's a ton of upgrades for these now this is an all-new chassis you know this whole cage is the chassis which is awesome so this is kind of like the Enjora models and everything and um, as you'll see here in a little bit I'm going to compare it to one I already have and this thing is you know so much cooler um, you have the on off switch is tucked right back here which is super cool I like that it's waterproof and check out those lights Right out of the box, you have an LED light system on the roof. $145. That's how much these are. $145. Bucks. Man, how do they do it? $145 for everything you have here. Portal axles, light system, LED. And you can take this off. I've seen a lot of people like tuck it down here. I kind of like it where it's at, but it is adjustable. So, you know, you can get creative with that. But just super cool platform. Metal Gear Servo oil filled shocks look at that oil filled shocks how many of these now is that i think this is the third one now i've got from them with oil filled shocks in the minis that's awesome so you know props to fms on that you know your standard axles so you can get you know like i said a ton of stuff for that brass metal gears uh metal drive shafts metal links uh, metal steering links upgraded servos you know the sky is the limit with uh, mods for these so, you know, you guys can just go crazy if you'd like. Um, but, you know, right out of the box, you know, I did the tires. I think the trenchers look a lot cooler on there, even being smaller. I might try to get some bigger ones, but, you know, I think they look real cool. Um, very cool uh, interior in there. You have a cockpit with uh, two different drivers in there. Very detailed. You know, that's super cool. And, man, I just, you know, both of these, 
They also have an orange one, with, which uh, has a really cool like lemur monkey on the side of it. And I think I'm gonna order one of those as well because, you know, I can't just have, I, I need all of them. I need all three colors. So I'm probably gonna order the orange one as well. But these things, you know, they're super cool. And I wanna show you, first of all, I wanna, I wanna get all this stuff cleaned up here because this is driving me crazy. My OCD is going nuts. Got stuff everywhere. Get that out of the way. This one goes with the red one. Here's one for the green one now. I went ahead, uh, I got on Amazon and I ordered some AAA batteries, some rechargeables. So, you want to see something funny. 12 AAAs in that little package. Like, that's that's all the AAAs was in there. Ridiculous. Waste of shipping, waste of cardboard. What are you doing, Amazon? But anyway, uh, it is kind of cool. They come in four packs, three, four packs. I don't know where they, there's the other one. So, they take four per controller. So, you know, nice and convenient. We're going to pop these open here. get these in here and then we're gonna go over to the rock course and we're gonna compare the stock bf goodrich tires i didn't mention that these are bf goodrich they say right on there bf goodrich mud terrain ta and you know they look pretty cool they feel pretty good so i don't know we're gonna try them i'm now seeing the size you know i have better hopes for these tires but we're gonna compare them to the pro line trenchers and uh also we're gonna drive the old heavy Chevy up with some comparison stuff here. Get that out of the way. All right, what do we got here? undo my homemade bungee cords i'm gonna have to do a video on these i made these out of paper clips and uh, hair ties and they are awesome for the one tenth scale so this is what i have that is comparable to this they're in the same price range i think this one actually might be a little bit more um but you know just the feel of them the look of them you know this thing the fms way better um i will add that this has oil filled shocks this does not like this is very very springy and bouncy and i even you know did some upgrades to the shocks and they're still you know not very great uh it makes it flip over a lot as you'll see in the video i'll throw some of this in there as well um when it comes to the body this has a lexan body which you know it's cool i like it but nowhere near the detail of this like having the full cage is just you know it's literally like a mini wraith like that's what I, I look at this and I see a mini wreath and I love the wreath. So, um, as far as the axles go, you know, the FMS axles definitely take the win. Um, portals way stronger. Uh, I like the, the worm gear setup in these, but it's also given me a lot of issues, uh, where this one's a regular ring and pinion. Um, now this one does have four wheel steer, which you'll see will help this tremendously. Uh, so we might have to make one of these four wheel steer. Uh, so that it can, you know, not have that disadvantage. Um, as far as width goes, this one's way wider than the axial. Um, I also, I put, these tires are off of the, the, um, the axial, which one was it? I think the Gladiator they came on. So they're a little bit shorter than what's supposed to be on it, but I got rid of those tires, unfortunately. So this is what we have on it. And maybe I'll put some pro lines on. I think I have another set of Mickeys. Um, we'll, maybe we'll throw them on here just to give it a little bit of a an advantage because I have a feeling this thing is going to make this look horrible on the rocks but you never know so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for that um but yeah just initial first look this thing all day long but you never know until we get on the rocks what else do we got here we have some oh here are those mickeys I was talking about so those would also look pretty cool on there but I think I, I want to get something a little bit bigger to put on this guy where'd he go I got too many cars here this guy here 
because I mean that's the that's the difference there you know I definitely I would like to get something a little bit taller and still bring the bring the height down a little bit I don't know we'll see how they work on the rocks so anyway I'm not going to waste any more time yakking we're going to get over here and see how they perform That was solid. That was actually very impressive. Well, let's try the uh, pro lines. So right away you can see that the tire size definitely, definitely helps. The trenchers seem to grab very well, but just with them being shorter, they're just not working the best. <clears throat> Try it one more time on this line. If it had a little bit more weight in the front, maybe taking that bumper off wasn't a good idea. All right, let's try that same line now with the axial. See, now this is where the suspension See, that axial can't even get up on there. I'll try it one more time. And then I'm, I'm going to try it with some rear steer. And also, the electronics in the FMS make a huge difference. Uh, the motor, the transmission, and everything in the axial, like, it's a little on the, the chintzier side. All right, let's try some rear steer action. See if we can get up on there. Man, I can't even get up on that one. We definitely have to do some more upgrades to this. I had another um, AX24 in the past, and it did a lot better than this one. I had a lot of weight in it, but it was nowhere near what the FMS just did. It 
cheating a little bit, getting some rear steer action going there. Oh. Let's try it with the lemur. We'll go with the stock setup first. Now the slow crawl with this is just, you know, it's, just, it's so much smoother than uh, any of the other minis that I've had. No rear steer in this one yet. I also haven't done any mods to these yet. So the steering isn't that great. And I actually haven't even set the, the dual rate out of the box. So we're going to try that again quick. Before we do any more runs. So to do this. You turn this the whole way. How was it now? Uh... There you go. So you turn it the whole way and then hold the, the DR button or the, thro the steering trim and that's how you adjust it. You also, to reverse it, you hold that and hit the reverse button. Same with the throttle. So I didn't do any of the mods to it yet as far as pulling the screws out and switching them in the front end or any of that good stuff. So I still have to do that. Which line should we take next? Give this one something easy. Oh, I spoke too soon. The turn radius isn't as good yet, but we're going to do that mod to the front axle and then we'll get a lot better steering radius out of the lemur. That slow crawl out of this thing is awesome. No problem whatsoever for the lemurs. All right, now we're gonna take a little bit harder line and see how they do. I think with some brass in the front, this would do tremendously better. And taller tires. These small trenchers, they're just not doing justice. The stock ones are actually working way better. 
There we go. And <laughs> there's not not quite enough tire there. Get some wheel speed action going on. All right, let's try it with the uh, the big stock tires. They just can't seem to make it over there. We need some more weight in the front, I think. That's a really hard line, though. Even there, I think the uh, FMS definitely did better. Let's try one more line here. Let's see if we can get it up on here. Oop. Try one more time with this one, and then we'll try the FMS. Try some rear steer action. Nope. All right, we'll put that thing away. Get back to the real ones. That one did pretty good on that. Let's try the uh, pro lines, the trenchers. Put it in low range.
A little bit more of a struggle with the smaller tires, but she still did it. Man, I'll tell you what, these lemurs are awesome. If you want to check these out, click the link in my description for this uh, video or my channel. Go over the FMS website. They have a ton of awesome products. They have the lemurs. They have the LC80s, the Blazer K5s, the Unimogs. They have the Smashers. You know, these things here, actually, now that I look at it, we might need to put some of these tires on the lemur. I don't know. I think they might do real good on there. So in a future video, we're going to try those out, see how they do. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to check out any of these awesome FMS models, please click the link into the, the description for this video or for my channel and go check out everything that they have to offer. They have the little ones like this. They have the big ones. They have all kinds of accessories for them. They have all kinds of apparel. So go check out what they have. If you buy through the link on my channel, it'll help the channel out tremendously and it'll help FMS to uh, send more products for me to review for you guys. So please check them out. If you want to order some, please do it through my link. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. Click that like button, share, comment. I want to hear what you guys think about my videos. I want to hear what you guys want to see more of. Um, you know, I want to make you guys happy. So please comment and let me know what you think. Anyway, for now, this is Wingnut with Wingnuts RC. Peace.